Morning Phil, this is Bob. Um, here is my algae terra scrubber that I just installed about three or four days ago. Um, as you know, I've been dosing the lanthanum chloride um, to keep my phosphates low. But because lanthanum is a chemical, I just didn't want to continue dosing it long term because I don't know what kind of adverse effects it will have on my tank. So I was trying to go the more organic or biological way and that is running, you know, refugiums with microalgae in them, which I have over here. So the algae turf scrubber is a more aggressive method of removing nutrients, aka phosphates and nitrates from the tank. So I, I made this out of plexiglass and I have it wrapped with aluminum foil on the outside to, pro to provide a reflective surface on the back so I don't have to put lights on the other side. The algae or the turf is growing on both sides because of the aluminum um, that, that I've wrapped around the plexiglass um, frame that I've built to support the screen. I, I went to a um, uh, arts and crafts store and bought the um, the, um, the, um, the plastic mesh canvas. The one I'm using right now is about 13 by 22 and as you can see right now you can see the water uh, cascading down the screen. So I have a pump in the sump that is bringing the water up via this pipe, right? And then I have a slit in the pipe that I put in and I'm using tie wraps to hold the screen in place and the water, as you know, you know falls down. It's the waterfall design of the turf scrubber. And it's about four days old and as you can see already, I'm getting some nice green, reddish brownish stuff growing on it. I'm running right now two 3,000 K daylight bulbs, LED bulbs, um, on 18 hours on and 6 hours off. I have the output of the turf scrubber going into a filter bag at the bottom just to catch any nasty that may come off the screen. I know some people let the turf scrubber drain right back in their sump for co-pot production but um, but for now I, I'm filtering the output of the turf scrubber just to make sure none of the algae doesn't come loose off the screen and end up in a display tank um, so right now I've stopped um, running the lanthanum chloride um, I have stopped um, running GFO right now all I have is uh, my two skimmers running. I know some people at some point will you know remove their skimmers because the turf scrubber is able to handle the entire bio load uh, but right now my turf scrubber is about a couple of weeks from being mature so I gotta keep my skimmers running and I'll, 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 I'll always keep my skimmers running I, I just don't see at any point me taking these skimmers offline so I'll continue to run them even if the turf scrubber is doing a, a very efficient job. So this is the turf scrubber. I made it out of plexiglass. Um, you know, it's like a, like a huge rectangular box and I cut out the centerpiece so the light can hit the screen um, directly. I have it wrapped on the outside with foil so the sheen goes all the way around to provide that reflective coat so the algae uh, grows on the screen on both sides. Um, so that is my scrubber. Um, it's doing its thing. I've seen a lot of good reviews um, on the reef forums. But this is the best good way of keeping phosphates and nitrates low. It's organic and safe. You know, every people clean the screen 
based on their bio load, maybe once or twice, a, uh, once a week or once every two weeks, depending on their bio load and how much growth they have. So I, I've stopped dosing the lanthanum chloride and I'm not running any GFO right now. Um, so I'll, I'll keep an eye on my phosphates and my nitrates. Um, I just turned off the lights on my refugium with my microalgae for now just to give the algae uh, on the scrubber a chance to, to take hold, you know, so giving, you know, so by giving the, the, the algae more light than the refugium microalgae. Once this gets established a bit, then I'll turn the lights back on these guys. I mean, it won't die. It, you know, they're doing pretty good in there. I got two huge ball of spaghetti algae and calerca in here, um, as you can see. So that is the uh, terra scrubber. I, I just want to show you the um, the screens that I bought. This, this is what the screens look like. They're just plastic screens that I got from the art store, the arts and crafts store. You know, it's uh, this one is 13 by 22, so it's a pretty large surface. So, Phil, this is my algae turf scrubber. Um, hopefully, this thing will keep my 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 algae in the to display tank at a very at a very minimum. I don't have any algae in the tank right now, which is good. But I'm more concerned with phosphates. Uh, and nitrate so I hope that this thing will do the trick that I don't have to buy any GFO or dose any more lanthanum chloride so you can see the water cascading down the screen here alright Phil I'll talk to you soon bye